Thank you to GSC for being this video's patron. If you want to pick out the deck I do next, support me on Patreon using the link below. Great beast of the sky, please hear my cry. Transform thyself from orb of light and bring me victory in this fight. Envelop the desert with your glow and cast your rage upon my foe. Unlock your power from deep within so that together we may win. Appear in this shadow game as I call out your name. Wind Dragon of Ra. Why is it an egg? Ra has probably been the most favorite out of the Egyptian gods, so it makes sense that it has the most support. Let's see if you can make a deck out of it work. Going second, all you need is Trick Clown and Guardian Slime. Summon Clown and then link it into Artemis. Trick Clown effect, burn yourself for 1k and then revive it. And that triggers Guardian Slime's effect to summon yourself from the hand. Tribute Guardian Slime to summon Egyptian God Slime and then Guardian Slime's effect, add Ancient Chant to your hand. Activate Ancient Chant, adding Ra to your hand, giving yourself an extra normal summon. Then banish Ancient Chant from Grave, letting Ra gain attack for all monsters tributed. Tribute all three monsters to summon Ra giving it 5400 attack, and you can either pay the rest of your life to give Ra 11,400 attack, or not pay, and use Ra's non once per turn effect to pay 1000 and pop your opponent's board. Now, for going first, it's basically the same combo, just needing an extra card in hand, either Blaze Cannon or Soul Crossing. If it's Blaze Cannon, just do the exact same combo and set it, then on your opponent's turn, activate Blaze Cannon to make Ra 5400 towers. If you draw Soul Crossing, you can do anything you want with the monsters on board, like going into IP so you have Unicorn access on your opponent's turn. Whatever you do with them, set Soul Crossing, and it'll let you tribute three of your opponent's monsters to summon Ra. Sure, you won't get the attack gain unless you pay life points, but it's removal for three monsters, plus a possible fourth if you go the unicorn line. Ra shouldn't be a pure deck. What I've shown is fun, sure, but not fun enough to justify running it solo. Mixing it with a deck that doesn't really need the normal summon though could make for an unexpected tech. And if you want to try that, you can get these cards at TCG Player with my affiliate link below, or subscribing and joining my Discord, or supporting me in any of these ways linked in the description. It's all appreciated.